Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you stick around. Today we are testing out Collection as our brand of the month. We have gone for all the makeup products, so keep watching and you'll be able to see how we achieve these looks. <music> foundation which is the collection last imperfection this is the matte foundation and out of all the products that i'm trying today this is the only one that i haven't actually tried so i've gone with the shade number seven which is biscuits so on first impressions this seems like a really good cover i've chose really well with the color as well I would say it's probably one shade darker than my natural skin colour, which is what I quite like, especially if I'm wearing tan. The coverage is really good as well. I really like the way it's blending. It's covered my sore as well, which is always a winner. So that is how the foundation looks. It's all been blended in. I use my beauty blender. I love the colour. It's definitely the perfect match for my face. Now, next up, I'm going to go in with the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I use this all of the time. I've not tried this one yet, but I always, always use this. I'm just going to pop this under my eye just to brighten up the area. This is in the shade number two, and this is Porcelain. It looks just like the one that I used before. As you can see, this eye has got it on and this eye hasn't. And it has just really, really brightened up underneath. That is the base. I've literally just popped on the foundation and the concealer. I'm just going to set my face and then I will be back to do my eyes. First item I am using is the Collection Lasting Perfection foundation this is a matte one 16 hour wear and it's got spf 30 it is basically well actually it says no clogged pores full coverage transfer proof and water resistant the only thing i don't agree with there is with it being transfer proof because i know full well i've seen it on my phone when i've been like leaning my face on my phone but this is just as good as their concealer, which is obviously the same range. I've never had a foundation before from Collection. This is the first one I've had. I picked this up in lockdown. As soon as our local Superdrug was open, I went and got this because I really wanted to try it. I've probably, I've worn it well over 20 times now. Like I've been wearing it daily for work um and i've also even like worn it if i took the dog for a walk so like i have been energetic when wearing it it gives such good coverage if you've got any blemishes any redness it really does cover it this is also really blendable and it's very full coverage if you don't like full coverage foundations i wouldn't go for it anything left over i just put on areas where i want extra coverage the amount of shades this has as well is just ridiculous and i think it's about four pound fifty five pound which you cannot go wrong i would happily go out with this on without any concealer i actually think this is really like foolproof for anyone who is not maybe too confident with blending makeup and that this is so super blendable 100% full coverage and it really does cover your face really well. Secondly is the Lasting Perfection Concealer. I've actually got the old one and the new packaging here. I think the new packaging looks so much more luxury and I don't think it's going to wear off as much as this one did. However, there's a lot more shades in the new one, which is really good. Whereas the other one I think had about three. Um, I've gone for porcelain again in this. And I just love the applicator on it. It's super easy to use, super blendable. It's not going to make your makeup crease. 
that is one thing as well i hate concealers that crease under my eyes and as you can see i'm just patting it everywhere that i think i need it which is basically my whole face at the moment because i've definitely got lockdown skin this could also be used as like the highlighter of your highlight and contour because as you can see it's really brightened up my eyes that's why as well i only put it on this center bit of my nose because that is where i want to highlight and make sure that that is the brightest bit it does a bit of definition in my nose this is amazing coverage and it's really something that lasts all day i also think that it's really good for spots it gets completely rid of, of the redness and it literally just makes your skin look flawless it's not one that like goes oily in the day either or like wears off it really does have the staying power like they claim on the bottle so i absolutely love it and i've been using this concealer now for years and even though it's in a new packaging it's amazing the only thing i would say about this is if you're dotting it around your face and you're not very quick blending it in it will be harder to blend so maybe just do it as you go along instead of doing it in one big lot like i've done if you aren't as quick at blending your makeup i've just set my face and finished it and i think everything has gone on really well everything that has sat on top of it it hasn't been hard to blend anything and overall i think this foundation and concealer is really really nice especially with the foundation the concealer the bronzer the highlighter and the blusher i just think it looks really really nice and i feel like this is something that i'm going to be able to wear every day next up i'm going to do my brows and for this i'm literally just going to use one product as you can see my brows are quite dark as it is and they don't really need much doing to them so i'm just going to take the incredi brow and this is in the shade dark brunette so with this it just has like a small pointed brush on like a little spoolie and I'm just going to brush the hairs up in a motion so that they look like they have been laminated. They are quite long at the moment so I am quite enjoying the effect that this is having on my brows at the moment. It just gives that really, really wispy effect on them and I love how it looks. I don't set them either because I find that once this has dried, they just stay in place anyway. So that is that on that eye and I'm just going to do the same on the other side. I think with this, it really doesn't matter how you do them because it just does it for you so whether you're really really quick and you just brush them through it's got the same effect so that is the brows they look really crazy but i just love how they look at the moment the third thing that i picked up from collection was the incredible brow brows at the moment everyone are going crazy for and i've not managed to have my eyebrows dyed which i love getting done so this has been my savior i got this in brunette number two i think there's only three shades but it's really amazing i have got everyone on this around me and people just use it as a bit of a tint and off you go so it's literally just like a mascara and you just put it through your brows i literally can't wait to pick up another one of this i swear it was only two or three pounds and i think that's why i first decided to pick it up but as you can see it's giving color to my brows and it has made them dead nice and fluffy which is something i love you can literally just angle your brow upwards to make it look more fluffy and i think it's a really good way to have a nice natural fluffy brow eyeshadow i have literally just sweeped on a tiny little bit of a base and out for that i have literally just used my pixie but what i'm going to use on my lid which i have been using so much and i honestly love it it's the glam crystals eyeshadow this is liquid but i literally just pop it on my lid 
like that and I've just been patting it in and this gives like the most gorgeous colour on the eyes and then I'll just transfer some onto my finger. This goes a really long way so as you can see I've like just put a dab and it just transfers onto the lid beautifully. It's really really easy to blend so that's how it looks it just opens the eye up a little bit more for me and I feel like light colours really do that and I'm just literally going to do the same on the other eye I find that with the liquid using your fingers helps get a really better payoff so as you can see that is just all over the top of my lid I'm literally just going to go in with my pixie and just Darken up just the outside areas, just a tiny, tiny little bit, just to finish off the eye. I'm literally just dabbing a little bit of this on. And then I'm just going to put a little bit underneath as well. And because I've got quite a lot of glitter on my lid, I'm not actually going to put anything on my inner corners because I feel like this has already done the job. Next up, I got the eyeshadow palette i've never tried eyeshadow from here before so this is definitely a newbie i got the eyes uncovered shadow palette this is in wild flower this has got really nice pastel tones there's eight pastel tones inspired by bloom and blossom look at this it is amazing i just thought the light blue and then the orange i just thought it's really nice color palette gonna start with a base coat which is the top one here and that is called backyard and i'm just gonna do that to mattify my lids as you can see there was a lot of color payoff then this doesn't actually have much fallout on your face but it does have a bit of fallout in the pan this retails for 4.99 or five pound um and i think it's really good for the amount you get i'm now gonna go in with the bottom one the orange which is endless I love a good orange. As you can see, the colour payoff is really good. You don't need to get any setting spray to accentuate the colour. It's already there and it is really easy to work with. If you're an eyeshadow newbie, I would highly recommend. Or even if you just want a new mini palette for the summer, I think this would do you the whole of the warmer months literally just going to go over my whole lids with this because i absolutely love orange on the lids i think it really warms the eye up as you can see it really does make a difference to my eyes with a smaller brush now and i'm gonna go for cooler the nice blue i've never had a blue like this before it's really cool i just can't believe how they blend so easily on top of each other as well the color payoff even just going on top of the orange is amazing under my eye as well i'll just go into the edge on this one i'm gonna now go into sunscreen and go over a bit of the cooler blue under my eyes to add a little bit of shimmer just in the outer corner now i'm gonna go for hazy which is a bit of like a highlighty rose and just go in the inner corner with that to brighten it up as you can see it brightens it up straight away and for an added touch i'm going to go for the shimmer one which is barefoot and just go for that in the inner as well so that hazy color i'm actually gonna meet it up to my brow just to clean the edges up with a lighter color and that i think just blends it up to your brow even nicer cute summer look i love that so i've just added some mascara on i didn't actually pick any up from collection this makeup look i like to just have like a no makeup makeup look so i haven't popped any eyelashes on i've just popped a tiny little bit of mascara on as i feel like the shine really does draw it to your eyes anyway so i'm just gonna pop my lipstick on for liner i'm not using collection i'm just gonna use one of the ones i already have lipstick i'm using this one this is actually rubbed off because I've, I've used it that many times but this is like a sheer lipstick so as you can see 
I've nearly used all of this up anyway. This is such a beautiful colour when this goes on the lips. It's lovely, it's lovely and moisturising, it doesn't stick and it's such a gorgeous colour. And as you can see with the lip liner, it just goes beautifully. Yeah, a final product is the guys this has been in my handbag for a couple of weeks now um this is the collection lipstick in fudge delight i swear this was like two pound two pound fifty and me and sophie were like oh my god we need to get that so it's a really nice nudie pink can you see how much this has been used but i absolutely love it it's so nourishing is more of a sheen like satin look but i really like it i think it looks so cute this is my brand of the month and this month we did collection overall all of the products that i've tried i absolutely love them all it's such an affordable brand it, you can buy it in super jug you can buy it in boots and i think if you're looking for a brand but you're not wanting to spend loads of money then i definitely recommend this i think overall my favorite is definitely the foundation it has surprised me a hell of a lot and for like five pound i don't think you can go wrong this is my final look using all products bar my mascara by collection i would suggest them all so just a roundup we have the last imperfection foundation the last imperfection concealer we have the incredible and the eyes uncovered and finally the collection lipstick and i really enjoyed doing this this is such a good brand i feel like it's at everyone's price point the most expensive item was the foundation and that was only about five pound fifty so i really suggest you head over to your local super drug or boots and really get your hands on this i think it's such good range it's very foolproof anyone can achieve a good look with this brand and i've really enjoyed testing this brand out we will see you very soon bye that is my face using the collection products i really do hope you enjoyed another video in our brand of the month series if there's any type of brands you would like us to review and do a brand of the month on then do let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to do it and we will see you again very soon bye <music>